Okay, this is uh, All My Loving by The Beatles, Lennon McCartney. And we have an anacrusis or a pickup of two beats. So that's beats three and four taken from the end of the music. Um, well, it should be. You'll see there's a mistake in your score. <laughs> so, uh, whoops. Um, then we have straight away, you have a sign there above that as well. Um, so the sign is this symbol, yeah? And this is a repeating point. So as you play through the song, at some point you will see you'll see DS Alcoda, take the second ending. So this is what you normally see. Da Segno Alcoda, which means to the sign, and that means in your score, that's straight up to the top again at the begin repeat in bar one. And so you would go play through the music and do your first and second time endings, uh, repeating the A section, and then you would go down to DS Alcoda and jump back up to the sign, but then you would take the second time ending and then there's a point where it says two coda before you see the DSL coder again. So that's our line, um, sorry, line, sorry, bar 26. At bar 26, then you jump down to the coda. So you kind of play through, then you play this bit, and then you jump down there. Okay? So let's give it a shot. Uh, nice and slow, moderately fast. It is um, in swung time, but that's with the quaver and your part doesn't have any quavers, uh, except for bar 12. So, uh, let's have a go, we'll give it a shot. One, two, three, four, one, two. First time ending, two, three, four, rest, two, back to the segno. Rest, two mezzo forte, F sharp, chorus. Do 
don't forget to take the second time. Second time now. One, two, bar 18, four. Rest, two, mezzo forte. F sharp. Chorus. Forte. Now come up here, three, B note, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest, two, G, F sharp, B, B, three, four, up to B, two, three, four, one, two, and that should be the end there goes too long that last note. Um, let's just do some revision of the outro. Um, so I'll teach you it first. So we've got an anacrusis for our intro. One, two, G, F sharp, E, B. Notice how I'm in second posi uh, first position here. Now our next note is up here on the seventh fret. So whilst I'm playing that note, I can move up. If I'm doing it down here, and then I don't move up until I need to play the note, I'm already too late. So see the notes coming up, so I'm moving up there even though my note's sustaining. I rest on beat one, that's the bar after the outro marker, so this is our second last line of the music. Then I play the B. On beat two, my first finger is going to play the A. So to be able to do that, I have to use my third finger on the B. B, A, A, slide down to G. That's the easiest way for you guys to do that, I think. You can play the G there with the pinky if you want, that's fret eight. Good practice to be able to do that. Now the next few notes you've got to rest, you're going to move down again because you've got the G, the F sharp and the B. Then I come back up again to the um, third finger on the B on the seventh fret. Down to the G. So it's um, it's a little off center that last bit of the melody, um, sort of accenting on the um, upbeats two and four. Now, um, it is actually easier, it's rather than going up and down all the time, is to actually play the first part like you normally would. And then come up to the uh, position five with the third finger on seven. And use the pinky on the G because you can also play G, F sharp, E on the second string. G, this, E. That's all on that second string, including the open B note. G, Fizz, E, B. So that fretting is 8, 7, 5, so G, F sharp, E, and then open B. So to be able to do that well, you've got to be in this structure and use pinky 3, 1. Okay, maybe go back and play the song again with me, and listen to it and play through it again. Cool.